Today, I'd like to teach you how to find the percent compositions of each element inside of magnesium acetate. In order to do this, it's a simple two-step process. First, we'll find the total mass, and then we'll find the percents. I have a nice little table to help us out. Bam. So the first step is to write down the individual elements we see in the compound. So we got magnesium, carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen. Next is then to find the number of atoms. That's where the subscripts come into play. So the subscript of magnesium, there is a one. There, so there's only one magnesium. Now for carbon, careful, there are two carbons, but there's two carbons in the acetate anion, but you got two of those. So actually in total, you'd have four carbons. In other words, just simply take the inner subscript, multiply it by the outer to find the amount of carbon. So that's four. Same thing for hydrogen. Take the inner for hydrogen, multiply it by the outer. That's going to be six. And then oxygen is going to be four. Then simply multiply those number of atoms by the mass of each particular element. These masses are found on the periodic table. So let's take a look. Magnesium is 24.31, hydrogen is 1.01, .01, carbon is 12.01, .01, and oxygen is 16. So those are the values we're going to write down. All right. So we got 24.31 for magnesium, carbon is 12.01, .01, hydrogen is 1.01, .01, and oxygen was 16. Then we're going to multiply now the row on a cross to find the total mass of that particular element in the compound. So the total mass of magnesium will be 24.31. The total mass of carbon is going to be 48.04. The total mass of hydrogen is going to be 6.06. .06, and the total mass of oxygen here is going to be 64. Then to find the total mass of the entire compound, literally just add this column on up. It's as easy as that. So the total here is going to be 142.41. And there it is, right? That was the total mass. That's what we had to find first before we did the percents. Now that we have that in hand, we're going to do the percents. I'm going to add a column to the table. Bam. So to find the mass percent of magnesium, we're going to take the total mass of the magnesium. So we're only going to look at this column now. That's why the table helps us with the structure. We know where to look. Then we're going to divide it then by the total mass of the entire compound, hence why we had to calculate that first. Now this is a simple percent calculation, basically. Part over whole times 100. And that's all there is to it. Then you can solve it, right? 17.07. .07. That's the percent of now magnesium in magnesium acetate. Next for carbon, we take the total amount of that carbon, 48.04 divided by the total mass of the compound, 142.41, multiply that by 100, and it's going to work out to be about 33, 33.73. All right, and that takes care of that. Next, hydrogen, total of hydrogen, 6.06, .06, divided by the 142.41. Right, you see how repetitive this gets? That's actually a good thing. All right, you want it to become repetitive. That means you're doing enough practice. If it's not so repetitive and routine, and you're like, oh my God, this is so boring now, I know how to do this, you're not practicing enough, all right? And then for oxygen here, it would work out to be 44.94%. And that's all there is to it, all right? You can always check, make sure this works out. It should add up to 100%, and it does, all right? That's what I want for you on your next test as well. And what we have done is we've created thousands and thousands of videos to help you do that, not only in chemistry here, but in mathematics and physics, and we've got a whole bunch of other stuff coming out, all right? So check out our channel. We really, truly do want to help you through your class. We want to help you succeed. Take care.